I wrote the Loyal Engineer's Petition of Right to Her Majesty the Queen in 1997. The day I got my 1997 Guinness Book of World Read Records for my name, Termel, I had to look. I noted on same page, Elizabeth, your majesty holds record among ruling queens for your longevity. Your majesty may not recall that during 50s tour in Hamilton, a child on father's shoulder waving sure. Your majesty may not recall on parliament's front yard, on Canada's centennial, a Cameron in your guard. But Majesty should not forget in 1983, at patriation of our Constitution, meeting me, my soldier's bonnet, now a hard hat. For the engineer, my rifle, now a pauper's picket sign with message clear, abolish interest, reporters saw on regal lips, which made well worth the effort of nine different picket trips. I bring you joyful news of abolition in your realm, of usury, but soon will need your guidance at the helm. Within your commonwealth have risen systems less of hope, so paupers of your commonwealth with unemployment cope. Parliamentary member in Australia, Maggie Dean, said Let's is helping needy trade employment like a dream. 400 branches serving 50,000 Brits to date, with branches new developing with funding from the state. 200 branches in Australia, where legislation passed, exempted needy from the tax on income let's amassed. With councils offered green, there is no need for funds to hunt. Laws passed allowing councils to accept green tax up front. Within New Zealand are a hundred lets to save the day, with dozens more in Canada to pave the better way. At end of 1994, 600 lets around. At end of 1995, 1,200 lets abound. 2,500 at the end of 96. It's doubling yearly exponentially the world to fix. Your subjects who have joined the barter lets make accolade. The trade of goods and services more easily is made. The program that is used to track our trading work account is known around the world as let's to barter it amounts. Local employment trading system is the name it got to run the bank's computers right away once Bailey saw it. Green dollars are the currency used in a let's account without the interest that forces growth of due amount. A member who is spending may go negative at will. A positive goes to the one who makes use of his skill. And though we use no money, we have found a way to trade. A giant step in the reform of money has been made. A butcher bought some pastry at the bakery one day and called the Let's Exchange recorder he was heard to say, Please debit $20 green from my account for cake, a credit to account of baker you and green should make. The baker took his family to the restaurant one night and called the Let's Exchange recorder when he was heard to cite, Please debit $20 green from my account for meal and credit the account of restauranter in his deal. The restauranter needing meat had green with which to buy and called the Let's Exchange recorder to so testify, Please debit $20 green from my account for meat and credit the account of butcher. Circles now complete. Some didn't like to call for every deal they wished to make, so each agreed all others' checks in green they all would take. The butcher went to bakery to buy some loaves of bread and used a check on which worth $20 green, it said. The baker took his family out to dine and eat their fill and used the butcher's $20 check to pay the bill. The check from the mechanic paid for caring of a nurse. Her plumber gladly nodded when she took it from her purse. To his account, the check was duly credited at last, and $20 debit to the butcher was amassed. But had she spent it at the butcher shop, we'd get to see. Completion of the circle meant the trades were all for free. A mayor faced with rising costs and shrinking revenues. To study any proposition, he would not refuse. So many think the job of being major mayor is a snap, but the decisions that I'm faced with are an ugly trap. With tools, materials, and trades that cover total range, yet one ingredient is lacking, money to exchange. 
If snowstorm hits the city and there are no funds to pay, what does my council have to do to clear the snow away? We pledge a million dollar bond to banks to get the cash, with which we pay the skillful men who clear snow in a flash. The merchants gladly take the funds, for soon they have to pay the taxes for the snow removal that was done that day. But though a million principal was spent, we must request that citizens be taxed for principal and interest. To budget who gets scarce resources isn't ever fun, but interest on city's debt is always number one. Whatever rate the bankers set is due amount I pay. Unhappily, which projects live or die is my only say. But if it's true green dollars serve as well as locals tell, why shouldn't government be one to try it out as well? When another snowstorm hits without funds to pay, we'll test to see if let's green dollars are a better way. This time we pledge the million bond to treasury instead, and see if use of green will get us very much ahead. The merchant should accept green dollars as another way. His taxes needed for the snow removal he can pay. Again, we'll spend a million, but the tax to be assessed including only principal without the interest. The only question left is how the tax should be assessed for goods and services. A simple formula to test. For services, we'd levy tax at end of every year. For assets, tax to pay depreciation. It's so clear. The government that spent the most and had the highest tax would be the government providing citizens the max. The most successful royal lets was in the British Isle, where tally sticks of money left King Henry one would smile. Accountants in the treasury would split the stick in two. One half would be the money and the other half its due. A tally worth a pound of gold to pay the king's expense. The other half amounted to taxation that made sense. The tax collectors through the land all had an easy way, since people had their tallies and enough the tax to pay. The tallies funded projects that could pay for everything, with tallies matching tax, a hero, Henry I, their king. For over 700 years, the tallies were in use, but having lost control of money, now is crown excuse. By opening your majesty green tally let's account, you'd find some 50,000 loyal subjects by your mount. Who will accept your tax for people's time at useful toil? Though taxing us for money's time will always make us boil. The let's can grant you love of subjects only Henry knew, and easy as a switch as disc by say of royal you. For hours work a royal tally would, with Christmas soon, be hailed by all your loyal subjects as a regal boon. No need to go to loan sharks anymore. We think you're good for any tallies that you spend in metal, scrip, or wood. Fifty thousand letzers give to crown your credit due. Without the banker's hoop of usury, you always knew. I'll pay your tax for army and police to handle strife. I'll pay your tax for doctors, nurses who protect my life. I'll pay your tax for all engaged repairing road and sewer. I'll pay your tax for social servants helping out the poor. I'll even pay your tax for bureaucrats with no regret. I only object to paying tax for interest on debt. Abolish interest is the petition of our right, as loyal subjects pray out loud for show of regal might. It's time to slay the dragon of our debt to foreign hands. I'm sure the sword of let's will satisfy regal demands. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, Christ taught us how to pray. When you are praying to your regent, here is what you say. Our noble Queen Elizabeth, honored be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as heaven the same. Give us now tomorrow's bread, forgive us all our debts, as we forgive our debt all their debts by using let's and to temptation lead them not lead us not don't put us to the test deliver us with tallies from their wicked interest and of course she failed so too bad i'm johnny engineer termel with my 1997 loyal engineers 1997 petition to write to her majesty queen elizabeth ii and had she granted that the world would be a changed place by now